boy, oh boy, do I have a story for you today. The neighbors have some interesting stories as well. But we're not going to talk about my neighbors today. Even though they seem to really want to be a part of it. Giulia Tofana was born in 1620 in Palermo, in Italy. She spent a lot of her time studying pharmaceutics and making products and all that stuff. She loved that. And she ended up as a cosmetic producer as well. Except they were all poison. I can't stop smiling. <laughs> The poison she made was named Aqua Tofana after her whole skin was discovered but nobody really knows if she was the real maker of that poison or if it was her mother especially because her mother died because she herself killed her husband because she had that knowledge of pharmaceutics she was able to make the poison into powder and then disguise it in rice powder or whatever the people use at the time to make their face not shine or she put it in sacred objects like saints and crosses because who the hell is gonna break that to know the poison was there so it was hidden in plain sight it wasn't only easy to disguise the poison it was easy to use it as well it had no taste, so it could be mixed with anything. It didn't have a lot of symptoms. When they took it, they just felt bad. Now, like they got the flu or something. Then, with the first dose, with the second dose, they got like a. Oh my god, that's an actual flu! The third one took the risk a lot higher, and the fourth finished him good. I should not be smiling right now, but I can't help it. Also, wasn't able to be seen in the body, so even if they made the whole autopsy, they couldn't see the poison. It was just you did the guy died from the flu. Everybody does that. Okay, but why all this? Why killing a bunch of men? And why can't I stop smiling? <laughs> because Julia Tofana made that poison especially for women who wanted to use it on their abusive husbands. Remember, being in the 17th century wasn't a fairy tale. Women had very little control of their lives. Most marriages were more like a business transaction, and I already made a video about it. It's right here, you can watch it by the end of the video. The richest girls were used to form alliances, and the poorest ones were going to be married into a better family. And they simply had no choice whatsoever. And a lot of people forget that marriage at the time the girl was like 13 or 14 and the guy was like in her 30s yeah i'm sorry to break that bridgerton dreams daphne was probably 16 and the duke was at least 25 so those girls used poison to free themselves from the abusive marriage because even if they tried to get a divorce one they probably wouldn't get it because they were running and two they still would be disgraced because she couldn't hold their family together. Oh my god, being a woman sucks so badly. Or just to try to have the slightest bit of freedom. That was all until 1659. One of the funnest clients, she came down before giving the poison to the husband. She told all of it, all that skin, the fucking snitch. Of course, the guy told everybody, they started to look for the murderous witch. But a lot of women actually helped to hide the fauna. She hid in a church for like years, but they still managed to find her. They questioned her and she was condemned to death. Just like her daughter and her employees. Tofana was actually a, a small business owner or a, a mercenary slash businesswoman. I don't know, I thought she was kind of cool. She confessed that through 18 years, she must have killed like 600 deaths. 100 deaths of abusive husband is what Tofana did. And then she was condemned to death, obviously. I know that I'm smiling. And I know I, I said I, that I liked it, all this, but I feel like I have to say it anyways. Don't kill your spouse. <laughs> Nowadays, we have laws to back you up. Even if it's still unfashioned and needs a lot of improvement, but don't ruin your life because of some guys. You can rely on your friends and your family too. Don't ruin your life because of someone, especially a man. Nowadays, they could also detect the poison, so it isn't as useful as before. But I'm not saying that you were supposed to do it. You know, Mozart actually claimed that that was the cause of his death. 
When Mozart started to get sick, he knew for sure that he was poisoned and he was sure that it was this actual poison. And if he thought that he was poisoned, what the hell he was doing? That was today's It Happened, it was this week's It Happened, made from my infinite studio, from Blade background. I'm getting stuff to pull here, okay? Here are the videos that I talked about. Subscribe and leave a like if you feel like it. And see you next week.